Would you believe me if I say there's a better laptop in the market other than MacBooks for engineering students? Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal my own personal laptop and why I think that laptop is better than my MacBook Air. This is Adonokia with an aviation six-pack and an So let's start with why. Why do you need a laptop being an engineering student? There are three main reasons. I'll start with number one, which is flexibility and accessibility. Well, as you can see, it's a very compact device. You can take it anywhere you want. You can take it to your local cafe. You can take it to the market. You can take it to the university. Well, you can take it anywhere you want. It's not like my time where I had to carry six, seven algebra books in my bag, which is very heavy. And now it's not like that. Now you can use this one to carry everything, your pencils, your books, it's all in here. So that's your number one. It's easy. So number two is a no brainer, but I still have to mention it. So the second reason why you need a laptop is to take down notes. You can't imagine how much productivity tools you got inside that laptop. You can open Word or Notion and even you can record the, the lecture when it's going on. You can uh, convert from speech to text. There are enormous number of things that you can you do with this laptop to help you get better performance and optimize your studies. Well, talking about optimizing studies, I remember I did a video about how I got a first class honors and in that video I discussed how I use this big book that that's the term I have used uh, the big book to study for the exams and in that book I have all the notes from my lecture uh, notes from my textbooks the questions from my textbooks the questions from my past papers and the questions that are that is going on in the lecture these questions are the question what people ask or student ask so all these all these questions all this knowledge i have collated or compiled into this one book called big book if you want to know step by step how to build up your big book you can watch that video and having a laptop would make that process easier you don't need to find books you don't need to write down things you just cut and paste into one full document and that document is your bible for your exams so this is the second reason why you need a laptop as an engineering student so now you must be like come on Dino it's enough with your bookkeeping manners let's get on with the good stuff well number three is use of different softwares which is CAD computer aided design or design softwares so as engineers or mechanical aerospace even electronic and electrical engineers we use computers to run our heavy softwares so few of the softwares to mention is we got Katia, Autodesk Inventor and we got SolidWorks as well as ANSYS and we got a lot more. So first on the list is Katia and the operating system requirement is Microsoft Windows 7, 8, 10, 11 at 64 bit or 32 bit and the minimum RAM requirement is 4 gigabytes and the minimum GPU requirement is 2 GB. Favorable processors are i7 processor with minimum 3 gigahertz and it requires a free space of 10 gigabytes. Moving on Autodesk Inventor which requires again Microsoft Windows 11 and 10 at 64 bits and this requires 16 gigabytes of RAM pretty high and also moving on to the GPU it requires 4 GB of graphic processing unit and also four or more cores as the processor so next in the line is SOLIDWORKS it works perfectly on Windows 10 and 11 at 64 bit RAM requirement is 16 gigabytes or more and moving on to the GPU GPU should be certified by NVIDIA or AMD when we talk about processors it works perfectly on a amd or nvidia processor so the next one is ansys again this works perfectly on windows 10 and 11 and it requires 16 gigabytes to run smoothly and talking about graphics 
anything with 1 GB would work and also processes at least 4 cores. With that being said, which dream laptop should we choose as engineering students? Well, if you have some money to spend, you can opt to a higher performing or a better performing laptop. There's a vast variety out there that surpasses the specification that I mentioned. Well, the objective of this video is to bring you a laptop that is under 700 pounds and which is capable of working some solid works as well as some word document and also do a bit of editing so this laptop which i'm about to reveal is my personal laptop and i'm a full-time engineer as well as a part-time msc student so this laptop have allowed me to do all these things i have solid works installed on my laptop and i do some basic word documents and sometimes when I need to do some brainstorming for videos, I use my laptop and that laptop is HP Envy X360 which comes at a price tag of £699 and thank you HP for sponsoring this video. Well, oh well I'm, I'm lying, no one's sponsoring this video. This is my take on this laptop and HP if you're watching, I would happy to take a sponsorship from you. Well. So now let's reveal the specifications of this laptop. It's a 11th gen Intel Core i5 laptop at 240 GHz and it's installed with 8 GB RAM and also it's a 64 bit operating system. So I know it doesn't meet the thresholds of the operating systems, but I've been using SolidWorks since I bought this laptop and it works perfectly yes sometimes when i'm rendering stuff it takes a bit of time but however if that does the job if that gives you the output if that helps you to do your projects and everything and you are on a budget i highly recommend this laptop at a personal level of course there are tech geeks who would not recommend this one i saw a couple of videos but if you ask me personally as an engineer with low requirement because a student is a lower requirement uh, you don't need demanding softwares to run on your laptop you need a basic laptop that can run a software as well as work on your day-to-day -day tasks and this laptop is a best fit for that so i hope you gain something out of this video and if you did really gain some value out of this video please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of hard work and time goes into videos like this so a single subscribe would mean a lot to me so i'll come back next week with a new video until then keep fixing